Thanks for coming again, all of you. Uh, could be at the show right now, uh, walking the booth, seeing a bunch of celebrities, but you chose to be here with us. So I appreciate all of that. And as we promised, we have a bunch of you feedback. So we have uh, uh, a bunch of uh, announcements to to have with you. Also, live guests, right, that that are with us here today. And uh, so let's get started. Uh, so we this morning we announced uh, yesterday we announced that we have, uh, crossed 107,000 Bitcoin on deposit. It's a Bitcoin conference, so we're not going to talk about any other coins <laughs> during this AMA. This is all about Bitcoin. Today is all about Bitcoin, and um, uh, there's 15,000 fans at the conference. Uh, close to 50,000 people who either drove or came to Miami to attend this uh, get together and uh, we had a bunch of events uh, yesterday and the day before um, so definitely you, you can take it out I can take the chair okay the chair. I'll take it and so we had plenty of uh, 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 basically both performers and uh, uh, OGs and uh, whale the whale night, whale night last night was what an event! Anyone attended? Any here? The whales just dis dis discovered, you know, revealed themselves. Here we go. But um, uh, and the line this morning, the line to the conference was a round block. I mean, it was just crazy, right? That just shows you. Anyone who told you that uh, Bitcoin is going down, we've seen the highs. They have no idea what they're talking about. All you have to do is come to the show and see the both the commitment, the dedication, and the, the passion that this community has. And um, this is what it's all about. All right, so we also announced uh, that we've invested, Celsius invested over $200 million, that's additional $200 million into the mining business. It's all in North America. So it makes Celsius uh, one of the largest uh, miners in, uh, in the world, actually, not just in the United States. And uh, we see mining as a, a source of yield, right? So we have uh, five sources of yield that kind of supplement each other. Sometimes we make a lot of uh, yield in DeFi. Sometimes, like right now, the yields on DeFi is crushed. Uh, so we're actually relying more on institutions, on exchanges, on retail lending, right? And on mining. So those are the five sources of yield. And all of those sources create a stable uh, sort stable income, st stable yield. I'm still getting used to talking in front of live crowd. You know? <laughs> Usually, I just look at my camera and that's it. Here, I have to catch everybody. So, uh, so these stable sources of yield are what makes Celsius special. Uh, almost every one of our competitors that tries to copy us uh, is using one or maybe two sources, but they can't really uh, create this five. And us making this big investment. Uh, uh, creates a very special situation. Why? Because if you've seen the announcement from China, China is cracking down on mining. All those machines, all of that capacity, 65% of all mining is happening in China. So the United States is less than 10% of the world mining. So all of that, suddenly, imagine 10 times as many people showing up to a party. What happens? Right? You ran out of, you run out of alcohol. That's what happens. So. When they're gonna show up here, we're gonna run out of electricity. We're gonna run out of cheap electricity, renewable electricity, and uh, we wanted to be the first. So we grabbed every uh, source, renewable source we could put our hands on, every machine we could put our hands on, and uh, we bought it cheap, we bought it efficiently, we, we bought it renewable, and everybody else gonna have problems keeping up with us. So uh, being a step or two ahead of your competition always helps. And it helps you because you earn more yield out of that, right? Mining Bitcoin is less than ten thousand dollars a Bitcoin. Anyone here wants Bitcoin at less than ten thousand dollars a Bitcoin? <laughs> so, so, uh, so we were super excited about that. I saw uh, on the news people were like, "Oh, you know, Celsius is partnering with PayPal or Celsius partner." None of those partnerships are going to help you. What we care about is helping increase the yield helping make it more sustainable, helping the company be more stable than we care about. Making big announcements, and we have a few more big announcements, they're coming. But making big announcements is 
what you have to measure it by uh, is the size of the community, the size of the deposit we get, right, the trust of the community, and can we sustain or maintain the yield? If we can do it, then this company is going to grow and do better. If we cannot, uh, then, you know, we're not going to do so well. All right, so that's uh, the two big announcements, and we have a special guest. So uh, we, we announced this morning also that uh, we partner with iHeart, which uh, some of you, anyone here listens to podcasts on iHeart? <laughs> anyone? A few hands? All right, probably half of you are listening to podcasts and you don't know that it's our iHeart. So, uh, uh, you, uh, anyone read the release yet or no? Because it just came out, right? It just went out. Just went out. Just went out what this it's hot news this yeah we used to say hot of the press but there's no more presses so now it's now it's hot of the hot of hot of insta you know or, or twitter right so come on let's go let's take a let's come and say why don't you explain to everybody and zach you want to join us as well uh, let's uh, uh oh you okay we we'll bring an extra chair bring an extra okay we'll squeeze we'll make room for everybody and yeah. hey so I you heard you're a Celsian too, right? Is that? I am a Celsian. That's how we found each other. We also announced a partnership with Visa. So we have a secret Visa person here. So we're in the Visa, what's, exp I, need, I have to say specific words, you know? <laughs> uh, the Visa FinTech Fast Track Program, right? And that's what allows us to issue that uh, credit card that we promised, right? So we're officially in the program. We're officially announcing it today. And thank you, Visa, for, uh, Visa, by the way, was the first, again, if you saw the announcements, first to accept USDC, basically get on the bandwagon of stable coins and, and crank up, basically attach themselves to this digital currency world. So I salute Visa for being an innovator and uh, basically really combining, right, and allowing us to do things that we cannot do unless we build a bridge between those two worlds. Yeah, Alex, we've got our ambassador from Visa, just like Joe is here. Exactly. Here, so, there he is. here we go. So I was told I'm not allowed to mention names. Thank you, guys. So uh, I think all this, only this mic works. So we've got to hold it really close. Uh, but again, so so we we are we have companies that we're talking to for three years. Right, that we are just, again, making tiny little progress every week. And Celsius is now 350 people strong, right? So, so uh, some of you met us when we were 10 or 15 or 20, right? And, and uh, we're going super fast, uh, adding people all over the world. Uh, we have uh, with us the mayor of Tampa, who's going to be on next, and we're opening an office in Tampa. We're looking to hire over 100 people there. So a lot of our, our CTO, Luke, who's uh, been with us in one of the other shows, relocated to Tampa, and he's, that's it. He's like, there's nothing, you can't talk to him about any other subject besides I'm hiring 100 people in Tampa. So we're going to have him, <laughs> I'm serious. He's like, he's fanatic now about this. So, you know, because he wants developers, he wants to create a new economy here. And uh, you can see how uh, we're creating jobs, we're creating opportunities, we're creating wealth. And uh, thank you again, Joe, and, and uh, yeah, sure. I just want all you guys to know, especially those who are, who are listening uh, um, online, the, the, the kernel of this whole thing c comes from me and, uh, and our team listening to the AMAs, right? The AMAs really are the most engaging thing that were out there. And Alex, as, as Alex pointed out, you know, Celsius was one of the first groups to do this. So when we reached out, it was really predicated on AMAs and the fact that the that the community is so, uh, you know, in, uh, intensely dedicated to what's going on here. And that was what really, amongst our group, was the spark, right? Because it, it, you know, we put out a lot of stuff, but to really watch an engagement happen at this level, you know, I'll, hats off to everybody who's been a believer in this because that's that's actually what made this deal happen. So I just wanted to thank all of you guys for, for putting that idea in our heads. Great, Joe. Thanks so much. And we will see you uh, when we have the full announcement. We'll have you back on the AMA. And thanks, VJ, obviously. And uh, Jane, why don't you come up and say hi to everybody? So, 
and uh, Nook as well. We couldn't do this without Nook. Uh, so Nook, come on as well. And uh, uh, so Florida is just happening, yeah, right? So tell us what's going on. Why is everybody migrating to Florida? It's the place to be, without a doubt. No, I'll, I'll hold this. It. All right. Yes. Yeah, so without a doubt, the place to be. Um, you know, you have a couple of choices. We're all down here right in Miami, but the best place to be is Tampa, Florida, without a doubt. Yeah. I know there's a lot of people from Tampa here. We, we have 200 people who agree with you. Oh, oh good, good. Well, well, we'll multiply that just like we are the, the uh, uh, Celsius fans, without a doubt. So, yes, we're, Nuke is our new cheerleader for the city of Tampa, but a great location. I'm a little biased, been there my entire life but uh, a great community, about half a million people, and we are focused on small businesses, growing small businesses, making sure that they succeed, and we have plenty of examples of that. Uh, we have everything that you need in our community. Clearly, the uh, uh, quality of life, all you have to do is look outside and realize why everybody's choosing uh, to come to Florida, and specifically Tampa or Miami, and then also the low cost of living, and the skilled workforce. We have whatever you want in, uh, in our community. So we're very excited about the future of Tampa, and uh, I'm glad to have Nuke as our number one cheerleader, although he has refused to wear a cheerleading outfit. But other than that, <laughs> he is our cheerleader. So, so Nuke, I got to ask you, because uh, it's, I'll, I'll hold it. Uh, when, when I'll, I'll hold it. <laughs> <laughs> um, when, uh, when everybody tells me they migrate to Florida, they talk about Palm Beach, they talk about Miami Beach, they talk about the Keys, some of them even run as low as Puerto Rico. And you chose Tampa, so tell us what's so special about Tampa. So, <clears throat> when uh, the, lo the walls closed on us in uh, Manhattan, uh, we decided to move south. Um, we didn't know much about Tampa. I've never been there before. And uh, Mary here does a uh, blockchain herd podcast. I did an interview with her, and I found out she's a realtor. And I said, look, we're trying to move south to Miami. Or, and she said, no, no, no. You're moving to Tampa. <laughs> I said, what, what is Tampa? Oh, I know Tampa. Brady, Ducks, you know, Buccaneers. Uh, Nook is a big Tom Brady fan, okay? So, um, so we, we took a plane, the whole family, decided to look at it, and the next day we bought a house there. <laughs> so, so, so it was also a Celsian that got you there, right? Yes. yes. It's always a Celsian. There's always a Celsian. So, this morning, just to, just to steal the show for a second, this morning we came to, you know, we were driving in our, in our whatever SUV, and we were coming around and we saw that line going around the block, right? It was just like crazy, right? And we hopped out of the car, me and Nook. I took my bracelet off, we went across the line, we started asking Celsian, Celsian, grabbed the first Celsian, gave him the badge, allowed him, from the end of the line, we just got him to skip all the lines, so. It's on video, it will be posted once I get to the Yeah, so that's, that's what we do, right? We help Celsians uh, get to the finish line. That's what this is all about. Yes. So, yeah, so to finish the story, that, you know, we fell in love with the place, first of all. So, and uh, I think, you know, uh, when they describe me uh, a fanatic and excited and a fan, you know, I, I'm not just a technologist, I'm an entrepreneur. So when I see an opportunity, I jump on it. But I'm also very competitive. And I saw that Mayor Suarez is getting all the attention, saying I'm going to pay uh, uh, salaries in Bitcoin and I'm going to do this and that. You know, Talk is cheap. Yeah, exactly. I mean, we tried, we tried to do uh, uh, salaries in Bitcoin. They won't let us. Um, but I'm very competitive. And I, uh, I said, I have to beat the mayor, and I have to make sure that uh, you know, we're not losing to Miami, right? And uh, Mayor Castro was very gracious. And uh, one, one thing I learned, it's you know, Miami, uh, sorry. Tampa is a, a big city, half a million people, but it's like a small village. Um, everybody is friendly with everyone and, you know, helps everyone. It's kind of like Israel. It's kind of like crypto, in fact. In fact, you know, community and all that. So, I'm teaching... So, we're announcing today, right? We, we're, we're, we're starting the, 
race with Miami. We're going to see who actually, who's going to do, who's going to get better, faster to the finish line. And we have 100 job openings in Tampa, 100 job openings. Again, you, you have any technical skills, you know how to use the keyboard, OK? <laughs> We're hiring you. You're Celsian, and you know how to use a keyboard. Come talk to Nuke. And I always volunteer his email. It's simple. It's nuke at celsius.network. So send your resume. And, and, and we asked the mayor to help us with uh, migrating people, right? So you're going to think of a program. We're putting you on a spot. Think you, of <laughs> think you of a program of how we're going to help these people, not just local people, but also people who want to come over mm -hmm. to uh, help them with their migration, help them with the training and everything else, getting up to speed. We know where we got to get the real estate, so that's all covered. But uh, we need to help them and, and create and a village. We're making Tampa a crypto-friendly, blockchain-friendly um, place. So, yeah. I'm, I'm educating the mayor, you know, there giving you a free lessons. Yes, for now. yes. Making me dangerous, yes. Well, Francis Suarez is a good friend of mine, and so I've talked to him a couple of times, uh, you know, since I've, I've I was coming, and then since I've been down here, we actually talk on a, a regular basis, and so we are happy that Florida is the focus right now because it is the place to be. And uh, as Nuke said, we are rather competitive. I don't know if you guys heard, uh, we won the Super Bowl, we won the Stanley Cup, uh, we're gonna win the. Uh, 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 World Series, we're going to win the Stanley Cup again, and we're going to win the, the Super Bowl again. So if you want to be a part of Title Town, you want to be a part of Champa Bay, this is the place to be. But like Nuke said too, you know, once you, you are in Tampa, and Tampa and Miami aren't really in competition uh, with each other. It's a choice between two different lifestyles. You get to Tampa, you are home. First of all, you come to the world's best airport hands down and then you feel like you are home and it's a big city with that small town feel and we have everything everything you need there to be successful so we are wide open and we are welcoming everyone to Tampa especially in the cryptocurrency uh, atmosphere anybody that is looking has an innovative idea startups uh, you name it we're very economically diversified and it served us well during the pandemic. Thank you, guys. Thanks. Thanks for this. All right. So, uh, you know, when you get older, you kind of reveal your colors. You can't really pretend anymore. And, uh, you know, your choices kind of accumulate. You, can, you can't cheat all the people all the time, right? And when, you, when, when you're true to yourself, uh, you don't have to worry about that stuff. When you, when you run from the heart, when you do what's right, uh, you don't have to look back, you don't have to think about it, you don't have to worry, you don't have to pretend, you don't have to remember your lies, right? Life is much simpler. So um, that's what it's all about. And uh, all right, so we talked about Visa. And, um, we have a bunch of uh, announcements that, uh, that came out, so I'm going to show that in a second. And uh, we also, uh, MakerDAO, for those of you who know, MakerDAO issues a DAI token, right? The stable coin that is a synthetic stable coin. It's uh, one of the very few uh, things that is not issued by the Fed or by uh, any uh, fiat uh, uh, issued by a government. Uh, so we partnered with them. Again, they have a great community. I think. Uh, uh, Dai, I, I'm, I'm going to nominate uh, Rune, who's the founder of Dai, for the Nobel Prize of Peace because I think if, if peace is going to come from anywhere, it's going to come from a whole new stable coin. That, uh, the whole idea of a stable coin that is synthetic is just brilliant. Okay, that's like you get a Nobel Prize for that. That's just a uh, totally different uh, level. So uh, partnering with Maker. Uh, and there's an interview, if you dig through our YouTube channel, there's an interview with me and Rune from like two years ago, comparing notes on uh, what DeFi should look like and stuff like that. And so they just, the community, the Maker community, just approved sell token to be an accepted asset on Maker. So we can now issue DAI, we can mint DAI 
a, a synthetic uh, stable coin using cell as collateral. So I know it's a lot of technique jar jargon, but what it means is that the maker community is accepting cell token and the cell community as an uh, asset that is good enough to issue their own uh, stable coin. So that's a huge milestone for us. And again, it's another way to deploy cell. It's another way to earn yield on cell because we can now borrow effectively from maker, right? We can borrow and so going to the Fed like the banks do and borrow. We can borrow from our own community, from a sister company that uh, is one of the top innovators in this industry. So, so it's not a little thing, it's a huge thing. And uh, for those of you who participated, helped us with the votes, we needed to have enough votes to get across the finish line. I want to thank you for that. And we're doing the same thing with Ave. So we are, uh, there's a pending proposition for us to be included as an asset that is accepted by the Ave community or the Ave platform. And uh, we need to pass that vote, and then we can uh, basically also use Cell Token as collateral to take loans uh, on Aave. So those are uh, huge milestones. Uh, both these platforms have uh, tens of billions of dollars on them, so that gives us a lot of liquidity. And I'm, like, just like we do, we don't serve advertising on Google or Facebook or whatever. We rather give you those dollars, right? We give you the referral fees. Same thing with borrowing. When we need to borrow, right, we rather borrow from the community than borrow from a bank or borrow from the Fed or anything like that. So when people come to me and say, why don't you just become a bank? Becoming a bank is going to feed the Fed and the financial system that is stealing from us every day. That doesn't solve any problem. It's much easier, it's much easier to go and get uh, a banking license than to build all the infrastructure worldwide from scratch and convince a billion people that you're legit and that what you're doing is in their best interest. That's not easy, that's hard. But if you don't want to do that, then you're not going to fix anything. All right, so... Um, Can you talk a little bit more about the mining deal and that's going to... Yep, yep. So, um, so the, the I, I, you know, Zach wants me to talk about the mining deal. Uh, I'll, I'll deal with that in a second. Just, I do want to talk about the cell token. Normally we don't talk about cell token, right? But the lawyers, I'm sure, are sweating out, but I'm far enough from New York now that they can't stop me, you know? Maybe I'll take this off and, so, and keep talking, right? But uh, so, so cell, uh, uh, the May 19 crash was the largest crash that Bitcoin had in, in a decade, okay? Almost a decade. Uh, it's not, it wasn't a little crash. We, we went through a crash in uh, uh, um, March, uh, uh, was it March 12? Yeah, March 12, I think, of 2020, right? And that was a 43% crash, uh, and that was, could be easily explained, right? COVID came in, there was uh, a lot of uh, stress, a lot of uh, um, uh, fear, and you can understand why uh, millions of people were basically selling their coins, they wanted some more cash, they were worried about the economy, they were worried about their job. We can explain that. This crash was just uh, unexplainable. Okay, and, and uh, you know, normally I don't pick on, uh, on other billionaires, but this time I'm going to pick on Elon Musk because uh, it's an irresponsible thing to, uh, to do to uh, basically play at whim with the livelihood and with the futures of millions of people. Okay, and it's great if you want to add uh, uh, followers and you want to have more uh, uh, people on Twitter than Obama. That's good for you. You have, you have a big ego, great. Go play in somebody else's uh, uh, sandbox, okay? Here, we're talking about the financial future of all these people. We're not talking about just uh, uh, some uh, whatever, you know? So, this entire crash started with a few tweets and it accelerated because too many people were uh, on leverage, right? Too many people were greedy, thought that this, uh, that Bitcoin is going to the moon, and uh, meaning to 200,000, you see all these people talking about 200,000, 300,000, and uh, you know, I, w I went on record on, on, on our YouTube channel and told everybody, look, I expected to, a retrenchment to 30,000, we just posted that video 
uh, and everybody booed me on Twitter, right? Everybody was like, including probably people in this room, said, come on, Alex, you're ruining your party. Stop, shut, shut up. Don't say anything. You have opinions, keep them to yourself, right? But when you put too much leverage, anytime you put too much leverage, all you're doing is you're inviting, you're inviting that crash. And all you need is a celeb to uh, light the fire, and immediately everybody else piles on. All the bad guys pile on and crush you. They crush you. Why? Because it's easy money. When you, when you stretch the, string, the, the spring, when you stretch it too much, when you put leverage, you're stretching a spring. It snaps back. Right? When it snaps back, anyone who was on leverage lost their shirts. Now at Celsius, we don't allow you to take more than 50% loan-to-value loans. Most of our loans are 25 and 33 percent. Why? Because we don't want you to get hurt. You know, we could issue 70 percent loans. I saw a platform now doing 90 percent loans. You can borrow 90 percent of the value. Do you think they're acting in your best interest? Right. So, so we had 17 liquidation, 80 thousand dollars worth of liquidation. Okay. You're not gonna. If there's no bank on the planet that can take a 53% drawdown, right? Have the stock market or the bond market, anything, go down 53% and stay in business. I, I had a meeting uh, yesterday with uh, one of the world's largest banks and asked them, would you survive a 53% drawdown? Right? They said, no, we wouldn't. And, and, and so this is not just surviving. This is surviving with 99.9% .9 of your community not even having a scratch. In a normal environment, we right now, we the United States of America, the people, would be basically uh, have to bail out all these banks because they're too much leverage and they get liquidated and everything else. But the crypto community is a resilient community and even with everything that happened, uh, uh, we are just going to dust it off and keep walking. And I always say this to my team. Our job is not to win the race by being the first car, uh, race car across the finish line. We can, go this, we can be the slowest guy, guys on the racetrack. All we have to do is let all the other guys wreck themselves first, and we can finish the race first by just letting them wreck themselves first. We don't need leverage. We don't need, all we need to do is be true to ourselves, true to the goal, true to the community, and we will finish first. And when you say that, people look at you and go like, come on, what are you talking about? Look at these guys, they're offering 80%, 70%, whatever, yield, right? And, and not yield, sorry, uh, uh, loan to value, right? And a lot of people are running there. But all those people got hurt. All those people got liquidated. You don't believe me? Go on Twitter and look at the Nexo feed, look at the BlockFi feed, look at the other feed. You see pain. And a lot of those people are showing up at the booth at our booth today talking about I'm here because I got liquidated by Nexo. I'm here because I got liquidated by BlockFi. Or I couldn't move the assets fast enough. Or I took too much leverage. All right, so again, our, our, our job is to walk with all of you. Again, I'm a user. Everybody here is a user. I get exactly the same interest as you. I take exactly the same loans as you. No one in Celsius gets special treatment. No employee of Celsius has ever earned more than you. And, and together we get across the finish line with less risk, less leverage, surviving all these events and, and surviving the banks coming after us and the government and everybody else. It doesn't matter because, uh, uh, you know, again, no one has lost money at Celsius, right? That's our job is to make sure that you earn, you save, right, and you get to a time. We don't control the price of Bitcoin. We don't control the price of the other coins. Uh, but if we believe in the outcome and we do allocation and no one here is telling you put uh, all your money into this or that asset, right? You have to make your own decisions on how much allocation you're putting. And you do need to have real estate and you do need to have stocks and you do need to have other plans. Okay? We're not going to solve all your problems. We're just a part of the portfolio and together uh, we're going to get there. All right. So today we're only taking questions from the crowd. So all of you, I see hundreds of things on the channel, right? So we're not, we're going to ignore all of that, and we're going to only pay attention to the guys here in the room. There's about 200 people here. Maybe we can rotate the camera so everybody get a chance to be 
on the, which one are we, on this one? All right, yeah, so maybe do a 360, give everybody a, a chance. And so, uh, so Luke, you know, he's one of our co-founders. Uh, uh, just to mention one thing, uh, when I sent Luke the first draft of the white paper, he said, what is this shit? You know, that was his first answer. <laughs> and he marked up every word, you know, like uh, your teacher marks up in the red, uh, whatever. And then he sent it back to us. And I was like, oh my god, you know. But he was right on most of it. So I got to give him credit. But one more uh, Celsian that's been with us almost from the beginning is Ashley Harrell. So I want to bring Ashley. Here we go. Here's Ashley. And, hey. And how are you? I'm great. Wow. It is so palpable in here. The energy is like radiating from everybody. So it's a, I'm excited. So tell people, people want to know, like, uh, how did you come into crypto? What, uh, how did you, uh, how, where were you introduced to Celsius and what happened, you know? You're still here, so it must have worked out. I'm still here, yeah. I mean, I, I met Alex and Daniel and Nuke uh, in the very beginning because I, had been working with uh, this extraordinary woman who came in to help with managing things on the finance side of Celsius in the beginning of, of, of it all. So I joined the team on the operations side and finance, and they wouldn't let me leave. So I'm still here, having a lot of fun, building out amazing products for everybody, and we're really excited about all that you're talking about today, and I'm particularly excited about the Visa FinTech Fast Track program, <laughs> so. That's right, Ashley uh, gave it birth from, the, from scratch, from nothing, right? It's like, let's create a card program. I'm like, sure, let's do it. Who's gonna run it? It's like, I'm, I own it. That's how well, it works at Celsius. I share the responsibility with a lot of other really bright people at, at Celsius. And the thing that's really exciting about the Fast Track program is it's, you know, cards, is just one aspect of it. So that's the first product that we're working on. Um, it's obvious to, I think, a lot of people here and in the space in general that the the gateway to mass adoption of crypto is, is payments, right? We have to find a useful way. Now, rather than uh, creating a world in which we're liquidating our appreciating assets, we want to leverage the crypto as collateral in the same way our existing products already work. So a credit card, a non-traditional credit card uh, using secured collateral is the perfect product to get started. And Visa is really excited about Celsius. That's all I'll say. We're working with amazing people who care about the mission just as much as you do, right? And uh, when you do that, you don't work. You don't feel like working, you know? like. Uh, my wife is still looking for my off switch because I just don't go off. I'm like this 24-7. But um, thank you, honey, for bearing with that. Where is she? Somewhere. Anyway, so, uh, so um, what else? What else are we working on? A lot of things. I mean, <laughs> I can't say a lot, but, you know, I just... I can't emphasize enough how exciting um, the phase that we're in right now is because we've re we are in the middle of some really critical growth, not just internally with our team and our global sort of um, placement, but obviously our customers, our assets and our management is growing, and all of this is building the infrastructure for us to really allow ourselves to be creative and work with a lot of specialists. Like we've just brought on some amazing people to our team that have decades of experience in the tra some traditional markets. So they understand what's broken and they understand the value of what's happening in crypto. And they're here to help us change the world with these new products. So I can't say all the exciting things, but what I can say is, you know, we're trying to create a new landscape. And we're really excited that you guys are all here with us right now and wherever in the world you are watching. Um, and, and we can't wait to see you know, how everybody responds to these innovative ideas. We're going to keep breaking glass because somebody has to. So yeah, I'm excited yeah, about it all. Women in crypto, right? We still have to fix that. We're not. But uh, how do you feel about uh, the other day before this uh, mini crash, we had $21 billion in assets, a billion coming in every month, net, billion net deposits from, from our community. It's just crazy. 
Yeah, it is crazy. I mean, I think all of us knew that there's going to be a, a, a huge growth opportunity at Celsius. And I don't want to say it happened faster than we thought because we've been doing this for about four years now. But I mean, it is really rapid. And sometimes that's hard to process, especially when your head is down all the time and you're working really, really hard. Uh, it's, it's events like these when we actually get to get out and, and meet folks that have been using our products and you came, come up to us and tell us your stories. Um, like I met Nick yesterday, just walked up to the booth and he was like, oh my gosh, I have to tell you my story. And I pulled out my camera and I'm like, say it again. Um, but like getting the chance to actually hear you know, how this has affected your life is what makes it really meaningful. And then that sinks in for me. I mean, even more than the 21 billion under management, I just get to see people's lives and how they've gotten better. So highly encourage everyone to share your stories um, about how Celsius has improved things for you because we that is what really makes us happy. And Alex forwards the entire company those emails. We get them from him. That's right. Only the special stories, not all of them. But uh, so there's, there's 15 Celsius here, by the way. Uh, there's about 30 ambassadors. So if you're new to this community and you want to hear the story, uh, just reach out to any of us, and uh, we'll spend whatever it takes to uh, uh, get you up to speed. All right, that's what we're here for. Uh, great, Ashley. Thank you so much. So another, another special person that we uh, saved from, being, from working in the bank, okay, is Camilla Chocher, who, uh, uh, and, and Cam Camilla is the only person in the company who speaks in proper English, because we are all have funny, weird accents, and it's our second or third or fourth language. You know, we're still amateurs at it, but uh, Camilla is from the UK originally. Yep, and yeah, a lot, of, a lot of people think I'm Australian now, but I am from the UK. Right, <laughs> and, and uh, we saved her because she used to work for Bank of America. And as you know, Bank of America is one of the most anti-crypto uh, institutions out there. Uh, their CEO actually fires routinely people who even mention the word crypto. Uh, so if you thought JP Morgan was like the the anti-Christ, uh, or what, no, that's a bad word to use. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I take that back. A serious. Uh, just anti-crypto. Uh, well, actually, let me think about it again. <laughs> uh, Bank of America, I think, is fighting for that title.